It's been about four months since we fully activated the home biogas system. We've been using the burner, we've been using the fertilizer. It's all going really well, but reality is a little bit different to how I was expecting. So these are the three things I wish I had known before I started. The amount of liquid fertilizer that we're currently producing out of the home biogas system is about a litre a day. Now, that doesn't sound like much, but you actually have to do something with it. You have to manage it. At the start, I just was putting it in this open barrel here, but it would quickly fill up. Mosquitoes would love it. And then it'd be too heavy for me to move around and to shift and to start pouring into watering cans. So after the last flood, I realized that it's going to be a really long time before I do any distilling ever again. So why don't I just use this bucket? It's got a closed lid so the mozzies don't get in. Nice easy tap to use straight into the watering can. So even my kids can do it. It's super simple. I can see the level works much better. This way we can just manage it more efficiently. Before we bought the home biogas setup, we were assuming we were wasting about three, four kilos of food waste a day. Turns out it's far less. This system can take six litres. We're putting in about one, one and a half litres a day. So it's really not producing as much gas as it could be. We never put all our food scraps together and waited at the end of the day because we were just binning it or composting it. Really good idea in a whole day, see how much you do and weigh it before you buy a biogas system. That will give you a really great indication of what size biogas system you need. The other part of this is you can put manure in as slurry. Now we've only got the goats on the property and their manure is a pain to pick up and not really worth the time. If we had horses or cattle or something that does big, big cow pats, easy to scoop up, easy to mix into a slurry it'd be far easier to add this as well. So if you've got a few horses or cattle or whatever, a home biogas system would be really good. This still is only getting fed by our food waste and it's producing just not as much as it could. Here's the single burner that came with the home biogas system. It's got seven little burners inside that ring. Now we've been using it fairly extensively. We've boiled lots of kettles. We've cooked a few full meals on it. The problem is, at about two and a half hours usage, it goes from this full to almost ex completely empty. We were expecting it to be able to store more gas for longer use. Now, if you're only expecting to use this as a bit of a novelty, um, then that would be fine. You can boil kettles probably once a day, no problems. But with the amount that we're feeding this system, it just doesn't keep up. You couldn't be using it every day to do your dinners, to do um, f cooking for a family of five. So definitely worth investigating before you go into this, how you want to use your home biogas system, how much you can feed it will directly impact how much gas you can use. But that top bladder there, regardless of its rate of fill, it's still only about two and a half, three hours absolute max of gas in there using that burner that came with it. So there you have it. If you're thinking about using a home biogas system, hopefully this has been helpful for you. It's all been self-inflicted on my behalf. I tend to jump into things without doing enough research and planning. We're running this fine. It's no problems. There's no problem with the actual unit. Just a bit different to how we were expecting. So. Thanks for watching.